Ever since the coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan, hot pot restaurants in China experienced massive decline in sales after the emergence of a video showing a lady enjoying a pot of bad soup. Though the video wasn't recorded in China, people in China and the rest of the world were quick to link it to coronavirus. In this edition of DPO Insights, we take a look at the impacts of coronavirus on Asia's food industry. This update is brought to you by DPO International, Asia's premier food distributor with over 25 offices and warehouses in the region. What is up the World Wide Web? This is your host for the most, Ilias, and you're watching DPO Insights, your telescopes to the happenings of Asia's tantalizing food industry. Now, the coronavirus goes beyond infecting humans. When humans are infected, the food industry is also affected. Food businesses in China have been adjusting their daily operations to cope with the outbreak. Customers now have to go through temperature checks before entering fast food restaurants like KFC. Customers are then asked to order their food from their phones or from the screens in the store. Shortly after they order, employees swoop in to wipe down the screen, disinfecting the surface for the next customer. Starbucks chain in Shanghai, on the other hand, are currently operating only for takeaways. To avoid customers from gathering in enclosed spaces, protecting them from contacting the virus from infected patrons. Protection initiatives by these food businesses go beyond the stores. For food delivery, once the delivery staff reaches a drop-off point, he or she will take several steps back and wait till the customer picks up their food from the vehicle. As COVID-19 is believed to be originated from an animal source, the meat and seafood trade between China and other Asian countries is the most affected sector in the food industry. Some countries in Asia have acted on banning the importation of food items from China. Indonesia in particular has banned live animal imports. Its trade minister, Agus Supermanto, quoted that they are also considering to ban other food products as well. Following this move, local traders in India have voluntarily stopped importing food products from China for fears of bringing the virus. The Forum of Indian Food Importers Director, Amit Lohani, stated that shipments like noodles and sauces are on hold and expects a long-term ripple effect on the businesses in India. The demand for meat and seafood has also declined in India. Following the coronavirus care, according to Minister of State Sanjeev Kumar Balian, the wholesale prices of chicken had come down to 100 50 rupees per kilogram from 200 rupees. In Malaysia, where street food is one of the main tourist attractions, popular hawker spots and durian businesses are seeing a sharp drop in sales and prices as the tourism industry is taking a hit as well. With the lack of demand, prices of premium quality durians like Mo Shan Wang or Musang King are now priced between 22 and 33 ringgit instead of 55 Malaysian ringgit per fruit. Big F&B manufacturers are also feeling the impact of COVID-19. Coca-Cola annual report notes that the company is facing supply chain issues with artificial sweetness including sucralose that is sourced from China. While a lot of food businesses are impacted by the coronavirus, there are however some businesses that are benefiting from it. Grocery stores around China, Singapore and Eastern Malaysia are seeing a spike in sales. Food items like canned food, cereal and dried food which have very long shelf lives are very much sought after as shoppers are panically stocking up their kitchen. Toilet paper, hand sanitizer, soaps and other disinfectant products like Dettol and Clorox are also flying off the shelves. And there you have it folks, this edition of DPO Insights is made possible by DPO International, Asia's premier food distributor that connects local markets to global food innovations. For food business solutions and even market expansion, head on over to www.dpointernational.com. This is Elias for DPO International.